Welcome back to CTV News. A collection of priceless artefacts will be on display for the first time since the earthquakes and Canterbury University is pleased to be using them again for educational purposes. Here's Chelsea Daniels. A collection of some of the oldest ancient Greek and Roman artefacts has been given a second chance at life. The University of Canterbury harbours a notably fine collection of Greek and Roman antiquities, known as the Logi Collection. It was badly damaged in the 2010 earthquake, but has since been repaired. A month after the earthquake happened, a recovery team was set up and a, conserv a conservator was um, employed and it was all completed, completely um, restored, cleaned, cleaned, conserved by June 2012. The collection will be moved to the old chemistry building in the Central Arts Centre to hopefully be enjoyed by scholars and the public by April next year. First formed in the late 50s, the collection has slowly grown to become one of Australasia's finest teaching collections of classical art. It has a long legacy, like these objects, they all have a long legacy and as curators that's our job to ensure that legacy continues. 361 fragile treasures from the collection that survived nearly 3,000 years faced total destruction in the 2010 earthquake. 264 objects required treatment, with 68 facing major repairs, 89 with minor treatment and 107 simply requiring a good clean. Initial reports were that a lot of the collection was damaged. Well, that wasn't quite accurate. Um, as I said, there was sort of less, just, just, just over half was damaged. But everything has been able to be restored and conserved. These artefacts have survived 3,000 years of human existence and Penny says each mark signifies a story in their life. This is a life story of an object and these objects were usually were used in, in daily life. They were of significance to people who took them to the graves. Quite often they were broken in the graves. Um, but and then this is the sort of part of the life story of, of an object. If it went through the Christchurch earthquake, then we will show that that you know that this little object here had had a, a, a break, which has since been mended. Penny, not being aware of my clumsiness, decided to hand me a three thousand year old bowl. This drinking bowl was made in 565 BC in Greece, one of only three known to be painted by the same painter. But she says that's the beauty of the collection, that scholars can truly get up close and personal with the objects, creating a much closer bond. For you handling that pot today, how did you feel after handling it? You, you know, here you are as an opportunity to handle something which is 3,000 years old. Chelsea Daniels, CTV News.